Hello everyone. Uh, welcome to uh, a new uh, demonstration for the updated script uh, for Bivot Alignment Tool for 3D for 3ds Max. Okay, this is a free tool. Uh, you're gonna find the link uh, down below in the description. I'm gonna show you how it works. Uh, first of all, I created a sample box. Uh, I'm, by default, uh, whenever you create a box, the Bivot point will be on the bottom center of the box, like this one here, for example, bottom center. Uh, and most uh, primitive shapes will be the same, like um, cone, also bottom center. Um, you start by uh, first button here, we have to center pivot. This will set the pivot point in the center of the object, whatever the object, you have, whatever the object is, it doesn't have to be a primitive, any, any object you have on your scene. Uh, center pivot, it works like this uh, button here. And I have the min z, the minimum z axis. You can uh, determine which axis you uh, you want to pick by um, looking just at the axis on the movement tool. Uh, I have the max z, so now the maximum on the z axis. Uh, I'm gonna center this again. I can go like min z, min x. Right, like here, like min y, min uh, max y, max x. Whenever you uh, pick an axe, it's going to be to the maximum or the minimum of that axe. I have also added a rotate pivot for um, whenever you export your object to another software which have uh, the up axis y, like Maya or Unity 3D. Uh, these softwares uh, have different axes. So of course it's xyz but uh, they have the y axis up uh, instead of z axis up like on 3ds max or unreal engine uh, so whenever you export to these softwares you're gonna find the object have a, a, a rotation value on the x axis so uh, to fix this i added this button this will let's start by center min z now it's uh, back to its original size original position uh, rotate pivot on the x now the pivot is uh, rotated. If you check the rotation, it's rotated 90 degree on 90 degree on the x axis. Now, whenever you import it into Maya or Unity, the object will be uh, on the it's a correct position. Um, I also have the pivot to origin. Now, I, if I click this one, this will move the pivot point to the origin of the scene, away from the object itself. Uh, pivot to origin again. It will move again. To the origin, whenever is when, uh, wherever the object is, it will move the pivot point to the origin, and I can of course go uh, uh, go back and center the pivot and then the set it back to what it is, and I can also use this build button here to send any send any object back to the uh, scene origin. Okay. To demonstrate this further, I have this uh, table here. I can center the pivot. I can put it in Z now it's in the bottom uh, of this uh, table and if I want it to be on this the max of this side I'm gonna choose the Y axis max Y let's place it on this wall I'm using this uh, select and place and the reason it's rotated because um, it's always aligning the object or the other object normals. So the normals of this wall is facing on this direction. This is why the table is rotated. I'm going to rotate it by 90 degree and give it a Z, uh, zero, zero and Z. And if you look at it on the top view, you're going to find it perfectly aligned on the wall. Okay. Uh, for this screen or um, painting you want to set uh, put on the wall I'm gonna center the pivot I'm gonna set it on the max y now I can place it again on the wall rotate it 90 degree now it's perfectly aligned on the with the wall for this door it's it should be here okay I'm gonna center the pivot again I want to set it on this uh, side to be hinged on this side. 
I'm gonna center pivot min Z. So I'm gonna isolate it and look at which axis I'm going to use to pick as a rotation X. So I need to add it, uh, set it in the max X first. Still in the center, not on here, on here. I'm going to use min Y. Now it's on this side. Now it's got the door going to be hinged on this side directly. Okay. Uh, one more tip. Um, this script, whenever you like have duplicates of the object, it works on them. If I center pivot for all of them, you're going to find them all the pivots are centered. But if I like drag this one here and this one here and this one here and select all of them and set min Z, now the pivot point of all of them going to be on the minimum of the selection. So the pivot point of this one or this one or this one going to be on the flat bottom like this one. Okay. So be careful when you uh, select multiple objects when using this script. Um, also, if you want to add this script on your 3ds Max toolbar like these ones I'm using here, this is our personal scripts I'm, I've created. Uh, I'm going to um, uh, go to scripting, open script. You're going to select the script wherever you downloaded it. Open. You need to select uh, all the script lines and drag it on your toolbar here. Now you have a button on your toolbar for this script. If you click on it, you're going to find the tool is open. Okay. Center pivot in Z. Okay. Uh, and you can change the appearance of this button. Like edit button appearance. You're gonna have a couple of uh, images as an icons, but I personally prefer the uh, text. Okay, now you're gonna have this script. Of course, you need to close 3 Max and reopen it, uh, and you will find this script permanently on your toolbar. Okay, hope this helps. Uh, if you have any questions, uh, you can ask on the um, comments below. And if you have any questions regarding 3ds Max, uh, you can also ask uh, in the comments below. Uh, thanks for watching.